another week. My name is Jenny. If you've never been here before, I vlog weekly about my life as a reserve flight attendant. And every once in a while, I try to sit down and do a regular video, but that hasn't happened in a while, so I apologize. Today is Monday. I am off today. I go back on call tomorrow. I've just been running errands today and getting myself ready to go back on call. I was going to show y'all a meal prep because I've been promising it for a little while now. But let me show you the current situation with my kitchen lighting. Okay. Um, yeah, that's supposed to be about five times brighter. So we have to use that as well. It's pretty dark. But when we get that sucker fixed, I will do another one with better lighting. Because... the. Um, it like flashes too and we used to be able to flip it a couple times and it would work but now it just does that I was on call this morning I was wrap a which is 2 a.m. to 2 p.m. I barely slept last night it was just a rough night so I was very thankful that I did not get called because I don't know how how good of a flight attendant I would have been on very little sleep. Oh my gosh, it's so warm. I did not need this jacket. The only reason that I seem like hyper and awake now is because of this concoction. I don't know if y'all remember, like I used to always rave about PE Science Alphamine, which is a pre-workout, but it's not a super intense one. Like you can take more scoops to to increase the intensity or you can just do a couple scoops to just kind of give you some energy for the day but the alphamine i'm pretty sure was making me break out like there was a bunch of stuff that i was doing at the time that i probably were that i was thinking could have made me break out first i thought it was the melatonin like hormonal breakouts too not just regular like allergic or um didn't wash my face breakouts they were hormonal breakout long story short like the melatonin messed up my testosterone levels which then in turn created more hormonal breakouts and then so i cut out the melatonin but then i also notice a pattern that when I took alphamine or not to, like when I drank alphamine I would break out I came across um, optimal nutrition amino energy is what it is so it's got amino acids which is really good I don't know if you can hear the ice shaking every time I shake this but it's got amino acids which are good because they're like the building blocks of your um, protein which builds muscle but it's also got an energy formula to it uh, and it works kind of the same way as alphamine as far in terms of the intensity of this whole thing It's really supposed to be for anywhere from 8 to 12 ounces And then it's like two scoops just to kind of wake you up or to do you, during your workout because your BCAAs are really good to drink during a workout or you could do like three or four scoops or five scoops depending on what you're depending on how easily affected you are by energy type things or caffeine or what have you four or five scoops will give you a good pre-workout buzz like you know if you've ever taken a pre-workout and you get like a little tingly feeling or you're really ready to lift some weights yeah that's what four or five scoops will do but so now that i've rambled on about that for a good few minutes um and not sponsored i just really enjoy it uh this flavor was watermelon i've also had the and this legit tastes like a jolly rancher it's amazing. I also, as I was running out the door, realized how hungry I was, and considering I'm working a major muscle group, um, oof, that's a good angle, uh, back and buys, I need some nourishment and some fuel, because it's been a few hours since I, ate, since I ate. So I grabbed this to bring with me. This is, I whipped this up last night as a travel food, just in case I got called, but this definitely you want to heat up. It's a chicken broccoli quinoa casserole it's pretty good it wasn't as flavorful as i would have liked it to have been so i added a crap ton of himalayan pink salt or pink himalayan salt i forget the order and garlic powder because i put garlic powder on everything and now it's delicious good morning i feel like miss trunchbull from Matilda because my messy bun just was not cooperating today but I said screw it. It's Thursday and I'm on my way to one of two doctor's appointments today. I am going to see a neurologist right now and then later this afternoon I have an appointment with 
the girl that I saw originally way back in October or November about my migraines. I am, it's nine, almost 9.30, and I, uh, I had to sleep with my earplugs last night because I could hear my neighbor on the other side of the wall just talking very loudly, and he has a very deep voice, so it was keeping me awake. And every time I sleep with my earplugs, I always wake up at about three or four o'clock in the morning, and once again, woke up at 3.58 to be exact this morning and then I could not fall back asleep. Oof, fall back asleep. So I just was dozing on and off until it was time to wake up. I just got done seeing the neurologist. That took about an hour-ish. And I don't know if I said this, but it's Thursday. And I am off today. I was on call yesterday and did not get used. That was pretty successful. She is going to fill out my FMLA forms for me because she gets it. She understood having it as a backup and especially because I've already used all my sick occurrences because of the migraines. And she gets it too. Like this girl, she was like, I hate flying because the same thing happens to me. And she's like, I don't know how you do it. I'm like, I, to be honest, I don't really know lately how I do it either. Cause it get like as much as I love flying and I love traveling, it was getting to the point where I dreaded it and I was scared to, to work and to fly because I knew that I would get these horrible migraines. I don't really have to go see my doctor this afternoon now. Oh, ooh, somebody's cutting grass. Oh, I love the smell of fresh cut grass. But long story short, because I noticed that when I'm editing my videos, I notice that I ramble a lot. So long story short, she didn't put me on any new medicines. I'm going to get blood work and I have to get an MRI. I'm going back in two months to possibly be prescribed something preventative, which I would be taking every single day. That's it, but it went really well and she was very nice. Hello! It's Sunday. I just got back from a trip. Last night I had OPR from 7 to 11 p.m. I was most senior. They used the three below me. 8.30ish is when they got used. That pretty much put me open to any two day that popped up the rest of the time. I saw this Fort Myers trip. It was a recrew and it was a 321, so they were gonna have to fill four positions. Since they were gonna have to call reserves out and the reserves get two hours to get to the airport, the flight was gonna be delayed anyway until at least 11.30, depending on when the reserves got there. Originally, they had filled all four of the positions with call outs. The extra position for that Fort Myers had popped back up on the screen that shows open positions. And I just knew it. I just, I knew, I was like, they're gonna get me with this and I'm gonna have to stay longer. And at this point in time, it was about 10 o'clock. It sat there. They didn't call me until 10.40 and I had 20 minutes left of OPR. We didn't end up actually leaving until 11. I think our official departure time was 11.40. Because we didn't land until 1.30. Yeah, 1 30 ish or whatever, and I didn't fall asleep until like 3 or 3 30. Our departure today was at 2 55. Our van time was 1 30. There was really bad turbulence. I don't know if you can tell, but it's raining right now. Uh, last night we didn't even pull the carts out at all because it was turbulent the entire way down to the point where the uh, pilots wanted us to stay in our jump seats. And then today, we were able to get the majority of service done before it started to get turbulent. It was bad, like I was actually, I wasn't just sitting down, I mean we were strapped into our jump seats. People today were pretty nice, considering it's Easter. Happy Easter everybody. <laughs> we landed early, but sometimes when you land early, the, your gate is still occupied. So we had to sit on the tarmac for, it was about 10 or 15 minutes, probably 15, probably 15 to 20 minutes, we were just sitting there. There was this little boy and they didn't even, they were just a couple rows ahead of me, like my jump seat. I get like, they just kept telling him, cause he really had to go to the bathroom and they just kept telling him like, you gotta hold it, you gotta hold it. You can't go to the bathroom right now. You know, we have to stay seated with our seatbelts fastened. And poor little kid peed his pants. I felt so bad. He was such a trooper about it. 
He's like, we've been on, we're going on two planes today. Cause they're sitting there like changing his pants before they go out in the airport. And don't worry, the cleaners came on and they took care of it and they replaced the seat belt and everything. Like there is procedure. We don't just bring another passenger on and they're like, oh, hey, a little boy peed in the seat. Bummed I didn't get to go to Easter mass cause Easter is like one of my favorite holidays. Easter's right up there for, up there with Christmas for me. My mom did send me down a little Easter basket though with a bunch of chocolate and if you follow me on Twitter then you would have known that I pretty much demolished that within the first two days and gave myself a stomach ache like a little kid. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not already so that way you know every time I give out, give out, put up a new video. Uh, go ahead and follow me on my social media links down below and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have any questions or comments, also leave those below. And I think that's it. I hope everybody had a fabulous Easter holiday. If you didn't, I am terribly sorry and I hope this next week goes better for you. I love you all very much. Thank you for following me and for watching and all of your support and love. It is very much appreciated. I will see you all next week. I found out why there was traffic and I just said a quick prayer because there was a really bad accident. <laughs> uh, right after I got done filming, there was an ambulance.